there is a requirement for one to have a bank account in Kenya. And on this, I am speaking to many Kenyans who do not have a bank account. I'm also speaking to many Kenyans in the diaspora, speaking for, let me say that, speaking for many Kenyans who are in the diaspora who may not necessarily have a Kenyan bank account. My advice and feedback to the team is that you need to make it possible for Kenyans who do not have a bank account but have an M-Pesa account to also participate in this space. I also want to ask the team to look at the possibility of Kenyans in the diaspora who may not necessarily have a Kenyan bank account to use their Visa or MasterCard or credit card accounts to be able to also participate in the purchase of government securities. This will expand the scope of participants. It will democratize this space even further and make it possible for a bigger majority of Kenyans and investors from both local and in the international space to participate in this endeavor. The concern, of course, is usually uh, KYC. But I think, speaking from where I am and with the experience of the Financial Inclusion Fund, commonly known as the Hasla Fund, I think the KYC provided by telcos is solid enough for it to be relied upon as a mechanism of knowing who these people are. I also believe very strongly that credit card agencies have sufficient KYC information for us to be able to rely on them um, to facilitate this uh, process. 